Wi-Fi pineapple pager payloads. So last video, or maybe I'm posting this one first, but we went over the alert payloads, which are payloads that go off automatically when something in the airspace is detected. Now the payloads we're going over today are the payloads just commonly used on the pager itself. So here we're gonna be seeing, you know, a lot of that stuff because the payloads is what makes the pager go around, you could say. It, it's based off of them, it's how it works. So we're just gonna be going over how to add them today. Now there's lots of ways to make this happen, but we're just gonna start off by plugging our pager into our laptop. And I mean, there is gonna be lots of stuff happening on here really. So let me get down onto the laptop itself and show you guys how we're gonna be doing this. Cause you could go the way of going to the virtual pager and installing each payload individually, which really just is a hassle. And I don't think anybody wants to do that. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be downloading the whole catalog onto this pager in super simple steps. Let me show you how. Now there's different ways, like I said, that this can be done, but we're gonna be using our laptop to do it. So the first step is gonna to be to get onto the virtual pager, which can be done by going to 172.16.52 colon 1471. And then we're gonna type in our root password whatever you chose, and this is gonna be how we could control the pager. And you can see in our payloads, we've got nothing. So that's why we're gonna be adding these on here. So we have our shell down here, but we're not actually gonna be using this. You could go the way of going into your CD payloads, LS, we see our alert payloads, and then we could obviously CD into our alerts, create a payload in here uh, for whatever file you really want. You do a deauth flood detected, but we're not gonna do all that work, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna download FileZilla. Now, I'm on Mac, so, I mean, yeah, I know, it's Mac. So I use FileZilla, there's a bunch of alternatives, this is just the one I really recommend. So on FileZilla, you really just get on here and it's gonna ask you to create a host. So when I have my pager plugged into my computer, I'm on port 22. I feel like that's what it's mostly gonna be on. So for our host, we're gonna put 172.16.52.1 for our username, root, and your root password that you chose for your pager, and quick connect. So, I mean, we're connected onto my pager right now. So let's see, okay. And now we're gonna see our loot, our payloads, and our recon. So this looks a little different than it did on my other pager. I obviously have no Wi-Fi out here. So if we wanna go ahead and navigate over to the Hack5 GitHub, we're just gonna to wanna to download the whole zip. It's the big green button on the GitHub. And then here we could find our library. So this is our library. And from here we could just do our alerts, recon, user. And we're really just gonna to wanna to drag these over to our pager. Now I'm just dragged a little. You wanna drag it over to the payload section. And we could see it's doing stuff up here but then also it's gonna to ask to replace some of the files, all that stuff. But now your pager should just have payloads on your pager. So now on the pager, if we head over to payloads, we're gonna have all of our fun payloads. And that includes our examples, our exfiltration, our games, general incident response, interception, prank, reconnaissance, remote access, and that really just is a lot. So we go to examples. I mean, look at all this stuff. IP picker. I mean, so these are all your example payloads. But then you have exfiltration, games. So there's Simon Says by Rocket God. But in general, we have a bunch of our stuff. Log viewer, DNS lookup, ping, network status, ship connected clients, trace route, update our payloads, incident response. We don't have anything in here yet. But I mean, you could constantly update your payloads by just going to the Hack 5, dropping them in, replacing the old ones, and then boom. Prank, Chaos Engine, I mean, we launched this, I don't even know what starting the Chaos Engine really means in this case, but I mean, there's just so much stuff in here, and I want you guys to have a fun time digging around. Reconnaissance, and map host discovery, and then we have remote access. This isn't really remote access, but I mean, call it what you want. And I just feel like there's so much in here. So I hope you guys learned something. Uh, I hope you, yeah, I don't know. I just had so much fun with this pager so far. And I cannot wait to get into Pine AP and a Reek. I think I already did Recon. <laughs> I think to say real quick 
if you like this mod that I did to my pager with the antenna, on about January 12th is the date I'm heading for, you're going to be able to ship in your pager to get three antennas added onto your Wi-Fi Pineapple pager. Now, there's going to be a bunch of different op options you could choose from, but this is going to increase the range by crazy. I mean, I went around war driving with the GPSU block, which can be included if you choose that option with the pager when you ship yours into Arch Labs. But not only did I get 1,200 networks with an antenna, when prior I got 200 driving the same route. So that's going to cover your 2.4 gigahertz antennas and both of them into one antenna. You're going to have your 5 gigahertz antenna and you're going to have your 6 gigahertz antenna. And this really just is going to turn your pager into a powerhouse. So stay tuned. More coming with that soon. And I'll make a video talking about it later. There's so much stuff with here. But that is it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And like I said, on Arch Labs, on Arch Labs, there's going to be something big coming soon. So stay tuned. Bye.